the Euronomes and Awards Committee is made, of, is made up of five members. Serving on the committee this year were Herbert Mignori, fellow in Colorado, Paul Moore, fellow in Oklahoma, Jim Genuwan, architect in Florida, and Richard Blake, fellow in Pennsylvania. And the chairman of the committee, Tuck Langlon, a fellow in Indiana. The committee recommended John Cisco to the board of directors to receive the Sculptor House Award this year. The nomination was unanimously approved at the February 5th board meeting early this year. The Sculptor House Award recognized annually those who contribute to and encourage American sculpture. The award was first presented in 2003 through funding generously donated by Brunner Barry of Sculptor House, Jack North of Chavant, and Mark Field of The Complete Sculptor. Both Jack and Mark are here with us tonight. National Sculptor Society is presenting John Cisco with the award for his outstanding work as the chairman of the Sculptor Review Editorial Board. In recognition of his outstanding commitment to sculptor as an artist, a writer, and educator. You can now appreciate some of John's work on the screen with the PowerPoint projection being done. It's a little hard to talk. 2016 started as a very good year and happy for the NSS. This was till May 19, when we tragically lost our friend and fellow John Cisco. The news came as a shock to all of us and we are still wondering and not understanding why this happened. We immediately exchanged many emails, charged with so much emotion and I have borrowed here some of your sincere comments. John was a humble man, but with an incredible intellect, a vast erudition, and an amazing energy. As some of you said, it was a light that burned so bright and intense, like there would be no tomorrow. John was a most talented sculptor and draftsman, a beloved teacher, a writer, he ran a gallery and shared the editorial committee of Sculptor Review with intense passion, always dissecting the content to deliver the best and in the most exciting way. And under his guidance, we changed and improved the magazine. We all wondered how we could manage to do so much and to do it so well. And most important, he was also a beloved brother and uncle. You do not replace such a man, because it's not possible. John left a void in our organization, which will be very difficult to fill. John left a note, as he was leaving this world, a very calm and positive humble note, a farewell letter, as if he wanted to reassure us that everything was all right. His sudden passing made us all realize how precious is life. How lucky we are if we are able to deal with our pains, emotions and problems. And as Robin said, how much we should appreciate the friends and colleagues around us and telling them more often what they really mean to us. We unanimously decided to honor John, creating the John Cisco Award to recognize special merit and, and service to sculptor. The corresponding medal will have on its front face a representation of a very significant work John did. I will not ask you for a minute of silence. I don't like a minute of silence. And for all of us who were lucky enough to know John well, he was not the man you could silence. <laughs> His amazing intellect and imagination were the prolific source of a flow of words you could never interrupt, and at our board meetings we so often made fun of him. I will instead 
ask you now. It's going to be a little complicated and probably take five minutes. To stand up, all of you, and pick up your glass in one of your hands. And we are going to form, closer maybe here, we are going to form one single circle, like a chain. You hold in one glass in one hand, and with your full hand, you're going to hug or grab the person next to you. So I give you a few minutes to realize it. First. And John, this is for you, our friend. This is for you, my friend. We'll never forget you. Now, this is very emotional, but it's also a very happy celebration. We thank you all for coming. And don't forget, we expect you all again next year, same time, in New York City for our next celebration and it's going to be an amazing event which is going to surprise all of you. <laughs> so please, we are counting with you all. Thank you. Thank you.